it's Alice and Jen, and you're on the light side of the paranormal. Today we are giving the people what they want, and that is a Nukes Top 5 reaction. Yay! Yay! <laughs> it's been a minute since we've reacted to Nuke, and it's like the second we, we let a week or two pass, or upload a video that's not a reaction, we start getting the comments, Nukes reaction, Nukes reaction. So here we are, again. Couldn't do this any sooner. I'm. He's come out with a few videos I'm dying to watch. Mm -hmm. Same. So buckle up, Buttercup. <laughs> if this is your first time seeing our content, um, just to let you know, we do talk over the video the whole time. You're here watching us react to it, so we are gonna be talking over it. And sometimes we like to discuss if we feel like it's real or if we feel like it's fake. Um, and that is all our own opinions. But if you want to watch the video yourself without any of our jibber jabber over top, we're going to put the link in the description. You can check that out yourself without us talking over it. But if you care about our opinion and you want to give opinions of your own, definitely stick it out because we're going to have a lot of fun. And make sure to go over and give Nuke all the love as well. Subscribe, like his videos because without all of his hard work and his compilations, we couldn't be making this video today for you guys. We love you, Nuke get into the video, we have something very exciting. Our first ever sponsorship. <laughs> We're doing this, you guys. This is happening. Things are happening. And that is Ana Luisa Jewelry. Their jewelry is so affordable and well-priced, and I actually mean that. So many times with other jewelry companies, I've seen ads on Instagram, and I've clicked on them and found pieces of jewelry that I like, but I end up clicking away and not going back to that little shop because I can't afford it, but that's not the situation when it comes to Annalisa jewelry. Yeah, Annalisa is so decently priced and because of that, it's not a stretch to be able to get more than one piece. So you're not just stuck settling on one thing. You can treat yourself a little bit extra for not that much money. Affordability is one thing, but also quality is a big deal as well. I'm wearing my two necklaces and I've been wearing them for a couple of weeks now and I haven't taken them off once and they still look fresh, like they just came out of the package. I'm wearing this Lev heart necklace and this little silver J. And Alice has the matching A. Right, and we didn't even plan it. We were both drawn to the letter necklaces and here, I'll come and show you. I worry that it's getting lost on my tattoo, so I'm just gonna put their little bag that it came in. Look at how cute it is. And I love that we have matching necklaces now. Me too. I also got one other thing. I got my Petra ring. And I love that it's like a really nice balance between being dainty and simple, but then also being like really funky and cool. And I've always wanted a snake ring, like it's such a vibe. Um, it's giving Slytherin energy. <laughs> but um, any time that I ever saw them was in like a cheap department store and it would definitely turn my finger green. I have really sensitive skin and similar to Jen, I've been wearing this for a while and like, she's clean y'all. The quality really is amazing as well as the affordability. Something that I find really cool about Anna Lisa Jewelry also is they have this really cool way of having a balance between like something that's like a chain and something that's a little bit chunkier and like again like funky cool but still very classic and clean. So it's so wearable for most people's styles. Yeah. So make sure to go over to the Anna Luisa website or you can go on their Instagram and shop there. But check out all of their stuff. There really is something for everybody. They have such unique styles. Like you said, you can go elegant or you can go a little bit more edgy. There was a lot to choose from and it was really hard to narrow things down. Definitely. I'll be going back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and on top of all of that, they're completely carbon neutral. So who doesn't love an earth conscious creator? So head over to their website at shop.analuisa.com slash uc dash the light side of the paranormal and get 30% off of your purchase with Anna Luisa Jewelry. And you don't have to remember that. The link is gonna be in the description below. So you can click that and enjoy some shopping. Treat yourself. So today we are reacting to 10 scary videos. Simple, but <laughs> straight to the point. Yes, we, we appreciate the bluntness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Let's go. It's the newest addition to my collection. Just bought it from the antique store. Doll collector Linda Deary from Murphy's Rural, Tennessee was browsing Facebook Marketplace one day when she saw an ad placed by a woman who was giving away four antique dolls for free. Linda drove to the woman's house and picked up the dolls. When she got back home, she posed the dolls on her bed and began taking pictures. 
But then, something very odd happened. The doll seemed to move right before her eyes. I hate doll Linda moving Linda grabbed videos. her phone and started filming. <laughs> Soon after this, Linda and her partner begin to experience strange and unexplained activity. Personal items around their house would go missing, and objects seem to move on their own or get knocked off shelves. One day, Linda gets a bad haircut from a local hairdresser, so she decides <laughs> to make a video about her showing haircut. off her terrible new hairdo. <gasps> but what Hang on, next? this calls for a pause from a hairstylist to react to this. <laughs> that is... That cannot be. Look at the picture down below. What in the bowl cut is going on over here? This bowl is what cuts happens. are great when you want a bowl cut. Don't get me wrong, but like this is what happens when you go to get a mullet from somebody who doesn't know how to cut a mullet. So here's my card. Um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but well, like really, we do a lot of mullets here, um, like fashion mullets, like similar to the photos. This isn't about me. Um, <laughs> This isn't a shout out to my business. <laughs> kind of is. This is so disturbing. Okay, this, this is, is the scariest, scariest thing part in this video. <laughs> I am horrified and I will lose sleep over this. I feel oh my so God. bad for her. Honey. Oh, yeah. I can't see the back yet. I don't even, it doesn't even look like they left any hair in the back, but it's hard I to see. I see a little bit. Let's keep going. But okay. I just, we needed to just <laughs> isolate this reaction. It's truly bizarre. Hi. <laughs> a lot of people want to see what my hair looks like. So that's so, what it was all tucked so behind. Nice. Okay. My bangs, I've had to like fix my bangs myself. But this is what it looks like if I don't straighten pieces of it. And like, <clears throat> it's just a whole mess. Yeah. Dang oh, whoop. <laughs> that scared me. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> what the f was that? Funny to me. Did you see that? Like, it ran. Oh, no. Absolutely not. No. At first, Linda believes that all the frightening activity in her house is likely caused by the playful ghost of a little girl who might be attached to her new dolls. She even finds the whole idea kind of funny and jokes about it online. One day, Linda sets up a silly video for her social media where she puts a chunky doll the space inside buttons. a That's cover, cute. waiting for it to fall out. But this is when things start to take a terrifying turn. Thank you, the baby. It was so mean. Like she did that on purpose. It's a, like to make a funny video. Oh, his hair. <laughs> What? How would you even? Okay, I'm playing this. Chucky's just supposed to pop out, but his hair is moving. Oh, what? What the heck? Okay, I'm really going to pull him off. Oh, okay. Oh my god. He just spins okay. around real quick. Okay, jump over. Jump over. Tiff's the video chilling. goes very wrong as the doll's hair begins to move for no reason. And then Chucky's head seems to suddenly spin around all on its own. And things just get even weirder wow, from here. Wow, it's going. One night, Linda and her partner are asleep in bed when they are woken up by the sound of loud banging from their front room. The bangs are so loud and intense that the couple believes that someone is trying to break into their house. That's they sad. immediately call the police. So, officers arrive on scene and review footage recorded by the couple's front door ring camera. Mm -hmm. This is a dog. Look at it for a bit. Yeah, dude. Something's in the window right now. Stop being hyper, please. It's scary. <laughs> <Ready>? <laughs> Like, show me again. What? What? What am I even looking at? 
As the motion trigger video starts, it looks like someone or something has pulled the couple's front curtain open. But even creepier, whoever this person is, they appear to be inside it's the house. It's so hard to even see what I'm looking at. Seems to yeah. slam the curtain Are those glowing again, eyes? No, no, bang. no, that's, that's what I safe. thought too. Yeah. Linda swears that she and her partner stayed inside the bedroom and didn't move until police arrived. The officers checked the house inside and out, but there was no hmm. one else there. Hmm. So now, Linda has had enough of the creepy dolls. Recently, she attempted to get rid of the dolls at a yard sale. But in a darkly funny twist, Linda says that someone actually stole three of the four dolls from her yard sale. To the thief that stole these dolls at the yard sale at three o'clock this morning, you're going to regret it. They're haunted. Had you waited until sunlight? She just you left everything overnight out. Huh? Said haunted dolls. If you have children, please don't buy. So good luck to whoever took those dolls, Weird. because it seems like. Who has a yard sale and then just leaves everything outside overnight? Hello? Okay, so much to unpack yeah. in this video. Yes. So, okay, do we want to start with like a one, two, three? I'm just, I'm just gonna give you the my quick rundown and then you can dive deeper if you want. But originally, I thought fake. Um, I thought it was just like a fun thing for abuse kind of situation. I can't explain the the hair moving. That was the thing where I was like, that. Eh. And also. Unless you have cop friends, you would not call the police for nothing. So that part made it feel more real. Mm -hmm. That's all I got. What do you got? Um, I'm very similar. Uh, if you've seen our reaction videos before, you know I appreciate subtlety when it comes to paranormal footage. Um, and I just felt like there was a lot going on in this video that was really big movements. Like these dolls, like Chucky's head was spinning around like <laughs> friggin' Reagan from The Exorcist, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so stuff like that really does kind of make me feel like it might be a hoax. But the hair was really interesting. I agree. That yeah. was something where I was like, huh, how would you do that? Yeah. So then I started thinking about how you would do that. And I guess if you really wanted to, her partner could be out off camera with a fan kind of pointed in that direction. True, I thought about a fan as well. Yeah. If, if we're thinking for a second that it might be a hoax. I'm not saying that it is for sure. Mm -hmm. We don't know this. This clearly seems very real to her. Um, and I do want to respect that. So, yeah. but just personal opinion, I don't personally believe that this was. But the call to 911 and that like capture in the window. That was really I don't interesting. Know what that is. I almost feel like that should have been its own little. Yeah, I don't know. Clip in here. Unless you have cop friends, right? And you're like, help us. What else can we say, really? Okay. Yeah, right. Well, it was really good. It was really entertaining. I liked that and I liked dolls, so that was awesome. It just kept going and going. It's <laughs> just always more. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, doggy. Reddit user Love is Evil from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee oh. is driving to work oh. at around 6 in the morning. He receives a text message from his frantic wife who asks him to check their surveillance camera footage on his phone. Loki, you texting me. <laughs> when he watches the video back, it chills him to his core. Explained spooky little voice can be heard whispering, Hello. And the family dog just goes nuts. I didn't get that. Okay. Actually, yeah. Oh, that is exciting. Meanwhile, the spirit's just a dog lover and like went to go pet the dog. The Reddit user says that other than <laughs> his me wife haunting and dog, people's houses no one else was dogs. home at the time of the recording. He says that they have never experienced anything like this and they don't know what to it make like of the creepy little voice. Mm -hmm. So did the couple's dog get scared by a paranormal entity? Or just what is that creepy little voice? I loved that. I loved that. It was so yeah, it's, <laughs> it's all about the subtlety. Yeah, it reminds me of the voice 
we caught, if you haven't watched our YouTube short or the TikTok and reel that we made all about that, we caught two voices here in the salon on the security camera. Yeah. It reminds me of that. Yeah, me too. I was thinking that too. Mm -hmm. EVPs are so interesting. It was just a short video, but lots of people chimed in what they thought the voice was saying. Um, I'll insert that little clip right here so you can see what we're talking about, but we've come to the consensus that the first clip says, hey you, and the second one says, check behind you, there's someone there. Old school. Cathedral High School in Los Angeles, California was built over what was once a cemetery. <laughs> the school awesome. even honors its dark history by featuring real pieces of old recovered headstones on its walls. Let's go high school. Yeah. <laughs> so late one Friday night, a janitor is working the night shift Never at been Cathedral kissed. High School when something happens <laughs> that makes his blood run cold. Alright, I um... I usually don't record while I'm on the job, um, but this is freaking me out. It's sort of unreal. I'm here at work. I'm here in the janitor's closet. Uh, yeah, let me just show you guys. Oh, is this the balloon? Oh. All right. Did you see something else with the balloon? Something similar. Oh, I heard a voice. Um, just so, I don't know, let you guys know the school is built on the cemetery. Um, I don't know if that helps my situation or not, <laughs> but oh. the previous janitors that have worked here have oh, just the light. tried to tell everyone that, you know, every night something happens, some, some spooky, I don't know, paranormal or whatever you want to call it, but yeah, I didn't really believe them until tonight. Um, gonna be janitors. I was in here cleaning up after some students had thrown the party, but um, <laughs> oh, that's right. what's been freaking me out is this one right here. Ah, yes. Uh, not no matter where I'm at in the classroom or yep. what I decide to do, it just follows me. Yeah, it's following me down the hall. Just do your thing, you stupid balloon. <laughs> Maybe leave out the stupid. We got you on camera now, so let's just, uh, mmm, see? <laughs> Right there. Mm -hmm. um, this guy's funny. <laughs> Just because it like comes around the corner. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Forgetting someone? Yeah. <laughs> no, Sorry. no. I know, it's like kind of funny. It's like a horror movie, but the villain or just, entity is a balloon. Around. Or Pennywise is invisible. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I can't. The janitor is completely ah, alone yeah. with a red balloon inside one of the classrooms seems to start moving on its own. But then it's like and follows him out into the hallway. Could there be someone? Suddenly the he balloon? spots a dark shadow quickly darting oh, past a window oh. on the other end of I the school. I didn't even catch that! Now, previous janitors at the school claim to have witnessed multiple incidents of paranormal activity. So when the custodian captures this spooky evidence, mm -hmm. he shows it to the building security guard. I gotta say something. So, you see, I it's hard up the classroom too. Look at the look at the back door. Look at look at the class with the light. What the? F <laughs> I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Not crazy. That's what I said. Not crazy. You saw that, right? No. He's a security guard. He's like, mm -hmm. no. I'm quite the security guard. Man. How are you doing with the security? Uh, man, I mean, I've been here a few months, but I ain't never seen nothing like that. <laughs> a 
as you can see, even the security guard is a bit. <laughs> so did the janitor have an encounter Double with take. the spirits who are buried in the ground below the school? <laughs> Let me know what you think. Okay, what I was gonna say is, what makes it funny is that it's like on the ribbon and it's up top, so it's like the height of a person. Yeah. So when it comes around the corner, it's like, eh? hello. Like, that's the thing. That's what makes it funny. Yeah, like it's it's creepy. Like I'm not trying to laugh, but it yeah. There's there's something comical about the balloon mm -hmm. behaving in a human like way. Yes. Following him around and being a human height, it's like a person with a head yes. on a string. Um, but that shadow. Yes. Yeah. That was interesting. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's something we need to try here. A helium balloon on a little weight. See if it moves around in the cameras that night. That would be so cool. We should definitely do that. Check out our Haunted Salon series. <laughs> Watcher at the window. A man is up late one night when he hears strange sounds coming from his home office. He grabs his phone and what he records is truly shocking. was freaked out as whatever is outside the window seems to disappear when the lights are turned on. But look closer. Just uh, outside the window we like can see that there is still mm -hmm. a strange pair of glowing eyes staring a back kitty. at the man inside. Mm -hmm. Now online viewers said that this video could easily be explained as a person or an animal standing just outside the window. It's so to prove them two wrong, or three stories the up. man films the office window again. is actually two stories up with no way for anything to climb up or what? sit outside the window so who or what is this interesting you it's funny that we saw that video that we reacted to it might have been the last one we reacted to with like mm -hmm. the face up high same situation mm -hmm. and then now this and then did it not happen to us when yes. In this window right here. Yes, yes. Two, almost three stories up. Someone stood there all night in the reflection, changing shape. If you haven't seen that one, <laughs> check out our salon series. Yes. I'll insert his photo right here. It's haunted as hell. But what is this with like suddenly these entities being in high up windows? It's weird. And like to me, that one specifically did look like an animal, but like. Could it be some type of like shape-shifting being? It almost looks like it an looks owl like... or something at, kind of for a second, but then when you look, like there's nowhere it could be sitting. Yeah. There's no ledge or anything. Yeah, it, it's weird. So it's like, just because it looks like an animal doesn't mean that it is an animal. Right. It could be paranormal. It could be just anything. Like, yeah. It could be anything. Yeah. I don't really know what to say about that yeah. other than that. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> what do you think it is? Comment down below. The crossing. Somewhere in the Middle East, a guy is riding his motorcycle down a lonely mountain road in the middle of nowhere. He encounters something that he just can't explain. Wait, why is he recording? Getting that good content? I feel like this is an old video we've seen. Like someone laying in the middle of the road. Some small thing seems oh. to walk across the road. Oh, I agree though, that looks familiar. Now, that's not so weird. But whatever this is, it seems to be walking on two legs, mm -hmm. and then it seems to raise itself up and jumps oh, right yeah. over the roadside guardrail. Human like. The motorcycle rider is shocked. It's like a child he like a his big video footage when he gets floor. home. But he has no idea what he encountered on that isolated Gollum? mountain road. Is that you? Yeah, that was weird. It looked like some type of weird goblin person. Or like like a small barefooted child. Yeah, it was like grayish looking. 
but that could have just been but also lighting. kind of like blurry and like fuzzy yeah. weird people are talking about bigfoot what about little foot? Little foot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like, why is he filming? And he's going like very, like strategically slow around this corner. That is a really important question to ask. If I had to try and answer that, I feel like people just like film everything nowadays. You know, like, oh, this will be good on my, my Instagram story. Just me taking people a People also fake a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I can't say for sure if that's real or a hoax. I'm not even sure what we're looking at here. But this is really interesting. Isolated I'm enjoying this. Road. It's especially interesting when it's climbing Disturbing over the garden. Disturbing results. YouTuber Tyler Blanchard is very much a skeptic when it comes to ghosts and the paranormal. Tyler believes that the reason ghost hunters usually find so-called paranormal evidence at haunted places is simply coincidence, coupled with the fact that they expect to experience paranormal activity. Are ghosts surreal or just scared people imagining things? So Tyler cooks up a very interesting experiment. He invites his friends to go on a ghost hunt. However, he splits them into two groups. One group, including Tyler, goes to a house that many paranormal investigators claim to be extremely haunted. An interesting experiment would be to take these four people, put them in this haunted house and do an investigation, see what they come up with when the house in fact is not haunted at all, but he leads them to believe it's haunted. Mm. But, <clears throat> They catch a bunch of shit that is unexplainable because like attracts like. Yeah. You're looking for a ghost, the ghosts come to you. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily need a haunted location. You could sit anywhere and be like, I mean, it doesn't work all the time, but right? If you're manifesting it, it might happen. Give them this big fake story, this elaborate story mm -hmm. about like, yeah. this is this house and this is what yeah. happened. And then they go in and, and they like, see what happens. Yeah. yeah. Just saying. I'd watch that show. I'd watch that show too. Somebody do that, okay? Yeah. And then tag us. Just like a little bit of royalties wouldn't be so bad. You know? I just want to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> the Brackenfern Manor in Lake Arrowhead, California. But the second group, they are just sent to a randomly chosen Airbnb. Oh my gosh! I've never had a reported death. No Fake house. Let's watch this shit, because something's gonna happen. Now, this house is not haunted in any way. However, the second group is told a fake ghost story about how this typical random Airbnb house Girl. is extremely haunted. But I bet you something happens. No, but you intuitively picked up on what was gonna happen in this bitch. So in the 70s, there was a family that lived in this house. A burglar basically broke in in the family, and it's rumored that they still are here. Oh man, not this ghost stuff, man. <laughs> so, the experiment begins and the ghost hunt starts at the real haunted house, the Brackenfern Manor. Now, Tyler isn't expecting okay. anything to happen or to find any kind of paranormal. Huge cold breeze on my legs. Really? Yeah, and I checked because the window's closed. The window is closed. There's no fan around. It's cold right here. Remember when we were investigating in there? I kept getting like a cold breeze on my left side whenever yeah. that woman was around. Yeah, cold breeze on my legs. We went to go check Lee's room and her ring light turned on on its own. So, it's always a good time here. Another day in haunted paradise. Normal activity. So when he and his group start investigating, they're mostly cracking jokes and playing pranks. He's asleep. Tyler, I know you guys are hiding somewhere. He's talking to himself. He's trying to keep himself from getting really scared. Funny prank. Let's hand in now, am I right? Please. <laughs> I heard a noise over here. are about to get a bit more serious and a bit spookier. 
The guys head to the house's cellar and use a twist flashlight and an ultrasound motion sensor music box that plays a tune whenever it detects movement. Oh. Now it's calibrated. Everything that happens from this point is something going in front of it. If you're here, can you can you make the music box start? Okay. That's good. Um, maybe the music box if it's if it's okay if we can sit down. Thank you. Honestly, this seemed so unexplainable, but not as unexplainable as the not haunted house. Is anybody here with us? All right, literally nothing was happening there. This is, this is weird. If you are here, would you mind turning on one of the flashlights? Or the motion sensor, whichever you prefer. You prefer the motion sensor? Oh, both, I guess. That's crazy. Yeah, that's what happened. Almost something And even after repositioning, it still went off. Well, that has the crank handle. Well, thank you very much for having us. We're gonna, we're gonna go upstairs to this beautiful home. Please stay, stay here. It's been awesome hanging out with you, uh, but we're gonna pack up our things and, and go. Thank you for this experience. Where's the equipment is also going on and off at the other house, or if it's just going off here. If it's just going off here, that is pretty sus. Yeah, right? like that's crazy. I mean, that box doesn't work at all, ever, 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 ever. No. And so we, we calibrated it three times and it worked every time. There's some presence moving in front of that machine. Now, Tyler gave both groups the exact same type of flashlight and motion activated music box but only the ones at the haunted Brackenfern Manor are activating. The instruments at the haunted house actually seem to respond to their questions, while over at the Airbnb, the same instruments don't do anything. And the night just gets weirder. I walk past this door right here, and there's something closed in there. Which one? for the bathroom. something, right? That could be the air, the wind, probably. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. Bingo, baby. It's in the corner. <laughs> oh, that guy. All right, well, that's kind of all, all I need. A window in one of the rooms moves by itself, and the music box activates as if someone is moving by that window. So, in a final attempt to disprove the creepy results from the music box, <laughs> <laughs> one more test. Oh, hell no! <laughs> We're up doing some late night research. Do the sound for exactly 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. <laughs> Alright, then come on. So we impressive. Did it once, like once, like for yes, twice for no. It's a beautiful moment, bro. I believe in ghosts. That is, that is beautiful. <laughs> they test the music box, they recalibrate it over and over, and they even change its location. But it still activates again and again, almost as if something in the house is eager to communicate with them. What makes it even creepier is that the group in the fake haunted Airbnb Kids, no response all night. So it's the and opposite. They don't really experience anything unexplainable. It's the opposite situation. So did Tyler made him a believer. prove that ghosts don't mm -hmm. exist yeah. actually prove that they do? Yeah. Well, you decide. I was thinking the opposite, like something would happen just because you manifested it, but it was the opposite. It, he was trying to prove that it wasn't real. Yeah, like it's and just because him. you're afraid. So I'll like he's like I'll investigate it myself and show you nothing can happen. And they used the fake house as a control, and now he believes in ghosts. Yeah, that's cool. Really enjoyed watching him go from skeptic to believer. Yeah, that, that was, was a great really cool. experiment. I enjoyed every second of that. Ooh, whoops. Fairy or flying nightmare. It's early in the morning, right before sunrise, when Lisa Nathan from Essex, England, opens the back door to let out the family dog. But something happens <laughs> that sends Lisa Hello. running right back inside. What? Oh. A weird, pale, 
Something can be seen flying around Lisa before like she a fishing flips lure. and slaps it away. <laughs> yeah. After reviewing the footage, Lisa believes she might have caught evidence of a fairy. Now, I'm certainly not saying that whatever this is, is a fairy. Interesting. But it definitely looks very odd, and no one seems to really know what this thing is. So if you have any idea on what this weird little flying thing is, let me know down in the comments. It looks, it looks like a big moth that like has something hanging from it. Like right. maybe it just hatched from its cocoon and like part of it's like hanging from its legs still. It almost looked like, yeah, like a bug that got stuck in some type of outdoor decoration. <laughs> Fairy decoration. <laughs> like it just kept flying with it. Yeah. Because it even had like a jingle to it when it came close to the camera. You can kind of hear Did like, they add that though? I don't know. I don't know either. But either way, I don't know. To me, it just looked like someone like. Yeah. And, and then just like reeled it in. Yeah. <laughs> like to like freak her out. <laughs> I don't know what that. Yeah, I don't know. It's it so did look like a fishing lure. Normally, I find I'm, I'm a lot more decisive about like, oh yeah, that's real, or like, that's mm -hmm. a hoax, and this is my opinion, and like, so much of this video, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> I got nothing. The woman in white. It's 3 o'clock at night when truck driver Ken McGill is headed down the interstate in Markham, Illinois, when something happens that is any driver's worst nightmare. Oh. Did you see it? Yeah, she looks so small. A long white dress can be oh, seen I guess he's up in the big truck. Dangerously high. close to the cars and trucks zooming right by Oof. her. Almost as if she just doesn't care. Oh yeah, white dress. For I sure. thought it was really, really weird. I, uh, it creeped me out. I had goosebumps for like an hour straight on my arms. It was really creepy. It was, it was scary. Now, whatever this mysterious highway figure is, it has Ken seriously freaked out. And the next day, oh, so the story cool. gets much, much darker. Ooh, there's more. Because you see, the next night at the exact same spot, around the exact same time, a vehicle swerves and has a tragic accident on the interstate, oh. ending two lives. But again, we're still keeping a close eye on this crash on I-57. What's the latest? Oh my god. Indeed. Unfortunately, I have sad news to report about this crash here, Laura. Sorry to change gears on such a uh, beautiful and pleasant morning here. It's anything but on the lanes down there. Uh, this a uh, terrible, violent crash. It happened before 2 a.m. this morning. State police now reporting two people uh, have passed in uh, the, this uh, incident here on northbound I-57 near 147, just outside of Posen and Dixmore. The drivers and passengers in the crash claimed that they saw a mysterious woman in a white dress walking on the road. They so say they swerved the to miss her, and that caused the accident. accident. Um, I had another driver reach out to me after I posted it on Facebook that he was going through there about 20 minutes before I did with another driver right behind him, and they seen the same thing as I did. Today, at the same time as we went through there, there was a car accident, multiple cars. Uh, two people ended up dying, two people went to the hospital. Well, the two people that went to the hospital gave a statement that they seen a white figure in the road and that's why the one car swerved into the other car. Weirdly, despite these eyewitness reports, cameras posted along the highway show no one walking in the road wow. at that time. So did King capture an entity on his dash cam that caused a terrible car accident? You decide. I was going to say, or it's somebody who's looking to do harm to themselves and they go out every night trying to get hit by somebody. But if that's the case, the cameras on the interstate would have seen something yes. and also how are they not getting hit and why at the same time every night? Mm -hmm. I thought he was going to say that there was an accident and then show the picture of the woman that died and be like, this looks very similar. Yeah. And the fact that it was the day after he saw her is like some kind of like time loop weird yeah. situation, but that's not at all where it went. Oh man, the way that I went from so excited for more information to like devastated, wow. yeah. I was not expecting that to take that turn. Oh, wow. It makes you wonder like, it, like what is the intention of this entity? 
because now that we know that it's not a live human being, because she's not being captured on the other cameras, mm -hmm. um, is What's the entity goal? trying to cause harm and, and accidents and kind of like a siren mm -hmm. song, you know what I mean? Yes. Like, yeah, creating destruction, or did they possibly pass away in a car accident and they're just, it's like a residual haunting of just yes. this loop of like. That's what I was going to say. But then, and did they crash because they saw the person who crashed before them? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, is it just something that keeps happening through time? Can you imagine if, because they said that two people passed away in that accident, can you imagine if like, I don't know, a few months from now, mm -hmm. but like in the same spot, we're now seeing three figures right. walking. Or two, the two have replaced the one. The one, or right. Something, right? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Oh. You and I always coming up with horror movie ideas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but really, like, my sincere condolences to yeah, the that's awful. ones of the deceased. That's terrible. To be the families hearing these stories about, you know, the deaths in your family were caused by a ghost like that. Yeah. Abandoned. That's so weird. Years ago. That's so weird because you got me to watch that abandoned short film today. Yeah. Today, yeah. Now we're watching Abandoned 2.0, baby. YouTube Urban Explorers Smash TV Canada set out one night to explore the abandoned old McCormick factory in London, Ontario, Canada. Cool. Now the group is aware that yeah. the property is often inspected by security. So when they hear strange sounds from somewhere in the building, they immediately suspect that it could be security and they turn off their flashlights to avoid getting caught. But what happens next is downright chilling. Can you turn mine off? throughout the building, the group eventually leaves to go home. They post their video to YouTube and many of their viewers immediately point out the eerie figure hiding in the darkness. But Jason and Chris said that they have no idea who or what this could be. And they say that the room to the left that the person can be seen walking into was just a dead end. So, it doesn't look like it's walking into a, wall, what? a room, it looks like it's walking Is into this? a wall. Yeah. Yeah, it just kind of passes in. Like, mm-hmm. Oh, this is why we love Nuke. This was such a great video. Yeah, scooch a little closer. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. This is why yeah, we yeah. love Nuke. <laughs> Back in here. Yes, this was a really great video. All the stuff that we love, there was some subtlety, there was some questionable, make you think kind of stuff going mm -hmm. on. It was uh, a wild ride. Mm -hmm. Fairies, dolls, ghosts. Yeah. Check, check, A little bit check. of everything. Small foot, not big foot. Checked all the boxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is why we love Nuke. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on every single video in this compilation, or if you have differing opinions from us with our reactions to certain videos, we'd love to hear your input, and we love discussing different 
things with you in the comment section. We love to see the discussions happening amongst each other. Uh, just keep it respectful, all right? Thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Thank you for um, believing in us and wanting to support us in this way as our first sponsor. That really means so much to us. And for supporting our viewers as well by giving you guys a sweet little discount. Yeah, so don't forget to click that link in the description box down below and head over to Anna Luisa Jewelry and do some shopping. Boop that like button if you want to see more reactions from us. And if you're not already following us on Instagram, go over and follow us at TLS underscore paranormal. And we'll catch you in the next video. Live your life with love and light. And keep on creeping on. Bye. Bye.